in this video you will see how I developed these feral ideas and the process of knitting some samples. So you can see here how I started. I always start with my square paper notebook. I have marked a 24 stitches area since a punch card is 24 stitches wide and every single square that I marked here in blue uh, it's going to be where I'm going to punch the hole in my punch card. So I have some um, blank punch cards which I'm going to use. I bought these from eBay. I think I paid around 11 pounds for 10 but I'm not entirely sure uh, and I'll show you how I'm going to punch it as well. You can see that I developed a few ideas and I'm not entirely sure how these are going to look once they're knitted but it's all part of the process so I'm just having fun I'm not thinking too much I'm just making sure that is over 24 stitches so it's a continuous repeat and then I will decide how I'm going to punch if I want this repeat to go across straight or I want to uh, stagger it at some point and this is my punch card for brother you can see that it already has marked uh, rows here on the side and just in case you have not used punch cards before when you insert your punch card into your card reader the machine will knit seven rows ahead so when we see row one here we're actually reading seven rows before so i'm going to start my design over here but then when i place it into my knitting machine i'm going to set my uh, card i'm going to lock it on row one over here I'm going to go row by row and then with a pencil I'm going to mark on my punch card um, every single square that for example here is orange and where that is going to be I'm going to punch a hole First thing I'm going to do is placing my punch card into the card reader. I'm going to lock my card on row one, which means we're actually reading seven rows below. We're not going to read what we see here, like I mentioned before when I showed you the card. And I'm going to place my knob on my knitting carriage to KC. I'm going to knit across, all that's going to happen, uh, needles from first row of my punch card are going to be selected. Next step is to unlock the card, so now the card will move into the card reader with every row. And I'm going to also place a second yarn, and this yarn that I'm going to place in feather B is going to be the second yarn. So all the needles that are now pushed out are going to knit with yarn in feather B. And the next thing I need to do in order for that to work is to press the MC button on my carriage like so. 